We're coming to you live from Detroit Rock City at Gord Field, where it's an absolute free-for-all. The stakes are high, and so am I. It's in the air tonight, Grim. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers, and lots of lots of beers. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, okay, man, I can't. Come on, I got to pick up. Get him out. Get him. Hey, man, I just can't want to shim him. I don't want to kill him. I'll shim him. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. All I remember, uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Hey, you see that move, baby? You know you did? You know why? I'm the greatest, greatest of the man. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Roid Rage brings out the worst in it. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And he punched his way out of that tackle. He could go all the way. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. And they line up for the X. 
extra point. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. No, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. something going here and it's first and ten oh a great catch and he picks up a new set of downs and it's first and ten with a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down and five. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit! Second down and six. the ball away with his meaty paw for an incomplete pass. Great play. Third down and six. The runner pulls out a I'll shoot you in the head. You people like it. I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. You don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. <laughs> the 
The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Third down and eight. It's one He finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because it'll be boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. Second down and long. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. And that'll bring up third and one.
looked like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. for a first down. And this rip is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. And this is a first and offense says it's time to put the rep out of his misery. change that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten oh and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down First and ten. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. Third down and long. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Get up now. Now this one's gonna be tough. And we're at the two minute warning. I gotta pee. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's gonna need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. He's got the distance and the kick is good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my head. It was a chip. Ouch. What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. Oh, 
They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Briggs. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Can they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Second down and nine. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was Chris. Now goes. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Yeah, man. He's going to spin on out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Greedy or desperate, either way, they're going for two. And they run it in for two points. Now, if there's one thing I can't stand, is a pretty boy who thinks he can dance. Uh, although I okay. am quite a fan of Guts and Finger Fake. Oh, <laughs> quite the entertainer he is. I would have to agree with you, Grim. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. Feed by both bombs. He picks up a two. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. Yeah, for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And that'll be second and eight to go. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Dad, tell him me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm. It's a close battle at the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down! Yeah, my next-door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. Hey, did your mother ever tell you don't run with a chainsaw?
Yeah, boom, baby. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't say <laughs> And here comes the extra point attempt. right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Him to the ground with an exclamation point and a well placed cleat. And it's first and ten. No, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grin. You're right. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf once, Grim. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face and into the end zone for a touchdown once he got his hands on that path he need to call an attack rep dirty trick and stop this or they're gonna lose not like they need any help with that though man. these guys are doing fine by themselves i don't even know how much Second down and a lot. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah. 
second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down and five. Before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. Second down and six. Caught for the first down. Hey, man, he's going to get him now. He only has. <laughs> First and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. Gets the ball. Get the first down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. First and two. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, Briggs, but for every touchdown he scores, he drinks the blood of his enemies and donates $1,000 to a local children's hospital. What a player. That is such a moving story. And people say that the NFL players are heartless. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First down. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. First and ten. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Well, fee, fi, fo, fa. The defense knocked a pass down, and quarterbacks hate that. 
Third down, and the punter is warming up. And I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. He refuses to go. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. First and ten. Hey kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Man, what a hit that was. First and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First and ten. Look at him! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense, knocking everyone down but his receiver. They knocked him right on their asses! <laughs> Second down in a mile. And the two-minute warning sounds. There's not much time left at all. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. He picks up eight yards on that pass. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me. This 
guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down in a mile. Time. Like a jack in a box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second and three. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Caught for the first down. First down and seven. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. And so he does have some turkeys get drafted on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. <laughs> Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Five yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put... And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? In a hurry up offense, there's no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. The Motor City Maniacs lose at home. Yeah, more like the Motor City. Uh, uh, I can't think of a good one, Grim. You know what? You got shit for brains. Oh, uh, thanks, Junior. Uh, more like the Motor City shit for brains. Yeah, that's good. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, man, I was cute on the now. You know what <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.